Hello there everyone and welcome to another uh, fly tying session with Nordic Anglers. Uh, today we're gonna tie a Thunder Creek. Thunder Creek is a really really good way of, uh, of making uh, fast and, uh, and efficient imitations of smaller bait fish. Uh, today we're gonna do this in chartreuse and green, which is gonna look like a small sand eel, uh, but, but you can vary this in, in as, many, as many colors and as many sizes as you'd like. Uh, the, the thing about these Thunder Creeks is they're very, very efficient patterns, they're fast to tie, and, uh, and they just look amazingly in the water. So stay tuned, because now I'm gonna show you exactly how to tie a small green Thunder Creek sand eel. Hello there everyone! Today we're gonna do this. This is gonna be a small Thunder Creek, uh, Thunder Creek, Creek sand eel. Um, fairly simple, but really, really efficient and, and cool fly. Uh, for this we need a hook. We're going to use the Arex Light Stinger, the Arex uh, 122. Uh, um, we're going to use a red thread for, for this one. And basically I'm just going to apply a bit of thread here to have a foundation for my, uh, for my bucktail. Which is going to be the key component, component here. And uh, in order to give this a bit of sparkle and a bit of shine, I'm gonna take some uh, some opal uh, opal flat tinsel and just cover the rest of uh, the rest of the body here, like this. And uh, and that's just to give it a bit of bling. So I'm just gonna fairly easy and fast cover the hook shank with this opal one, one to give it kind of a sideline effect and, and, and a bit of shine. I'm just gonna do it double and apply a bit of, uh, a bit of UV glue to, uh, to, the, uh, to the tinsel here so, it's, so it stays in place and it's, it, it remains strong and durable. There we go. Cut away this part. This is a, a fast and easy way to do a to do a bait fish that uh, a sand eel that that really really works well and, and looks well in the water. I'm I'm a tremendous big fan of, of bucktail and I use that for just an insane amount of things, and I use it on almost any all of my um, my my bait fish patterns. But uh, this is not a pattern that I can claim credit for. But but it's 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 a nice pattern and and an easy way to to do a. Uh, a good good imitation of, of a lot of different bait fish. You can, you, we're going to do it in chartreuse and uh, and white, but it it works really well in pink. It works great in 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 any color. In orange is is a nice color as well. Uh, or you can do it in the Mickey Finn uh, variation, which is is red and uh, and yellow. Um, and uh, yeah, just just whatever color uh, works works good for this one. So we need a bundle of bucktail now. Uh, we need a, a bundle in white and a, and a bundle in uh, in chartreuse. And I'm just gonna turn the hook upside down here for the white part of the fly here. And basically, you need to measure how long you want this. So I want about this length, and then I'm basically just tie this down. I'm making sure that every every strand of bucktail is 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 tied underneath the hook and not on uh, not around the hook because we need the chartreuse to be on the opposite side mm -hmm. cut away the left over here and then I'm gonna take the chartreuse this is highly highly fluorescent chartreuse uh, looks looks great for 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 any saltwater patterns and chartreuse is one of the best colors for yeah, for salt water and, and for for a lot of things. Just gonna pull out all the the shorter hairs here. Gonna turn the hook around. I want the chartreuse to be very slightly longer than the white one to give it the right taper. Basically Tie some tying thread on top of this. Cut away the chartreuse. Then add a few strands of uh, of ascent flesh. Just again to 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 give it a bit more bling, and then to make sure that you have kind of a sideline effect here. Just any length. You can you can always trim it afterwards. 
and not too much, maybe five or or something strands. There we go. And then make sure that you have uh, there was one that was in the wrong way. Make sure that you tie all the way up to the eye and that, that the white is underneath and that the chartreuse is on top. So they don't mix. Really close to the eye. Then move the thread back to where you to, to where you want your, your head to be. And then basically take the chartreuse and fold back. Without too many of the white ones. If you get one or two, that's probably inevitable, but Now I've folded the chartreuse back, then I'm going to fold the white back as well. Really going to not mangle it, but, but apply some, some tension here. And then hold everything tight. And then tie it down. Now all you need to do is make a whip finish and the red thread here is going to look a lot like the the gills of of the fish so 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 it's it's it has a it has a function the red thread there you go looking good then i take my uv glue There is a few too short strands I needed to cut away. I take my UV glue and attach an eye to each side here. And you can use three or you can use four millimeter, millimeter depending on the size of your fly, the size of your hook. I think for, for this one, three millimeter looks nice. There it should be. I'm gonna add the the light so it stays in place. You can see where it is. And then I'm gonna do exactly the same for the opposite side. And this is just so so much more easy to do this since uh, since uh, in the introduction of of the UV glue. This was of course you, it could be done and and you could do it fairly easy, but but the epoxy was just. It was it was harder to 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 do this because you had such a limited time to place everything correctly. Let's just see how that looks. That looks absolutely. Uh, it needs to be moved a tiniest bit. Yeah, there we go. And then I apply the light again. And basically you just take your, your glue and then you form the head. And you can form it as, as much of a bulb as you as you like, or if you if you just like it fairly fairly small and, and without having too much glue, you can you can do that as well. So basically you can you can just form exactly the type of head that you like for this fly. And because of the glue, it's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna weight the fly. But if this is something you, you, you want to do in fish as fast as you can, then probably you need a, a sinking or an, or an intermediate line, uh, because it's not that heavy, this fly, just as, as it is now. And if you have a fly vise with rotation, like I do here, you can, you can apply a bit of, of glue and basically just rotate, and, and the rotation will, will keep the, the glue evenly distributed. So, so if you see, uh, if I stop rotating, then you'll see a, a bulb forming underneath. But as soon as I start rotating this, um, that that bulge will 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 disappear, and I can get a completely uniform head from this. And you have to look, you know, look from from uh, look uh, look from the front of the fly. And when you think that that you have 
you know, really decent formed head. You basically just shine the light on, shine the light on there, and and it's done. I have that now. So now I shine the light, and my Thunder Creek fly is done. Woohoo! And as I said, uh, you can do this in you can do this in any any colors. The 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 blue and white looks really good for sardinas. The 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 pink one is is a good stimulator for 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 getting a lot of attacks and and stuff like that. So so uh, do these Thunder Creeks in any any color combination that you like. They're fast, they're easy, and uh, and and they fish really, really, really well. They're also not that expensive in in materials, but they just they just look like food in the water, and uh, and the fish will grab these. So there you go, the uh, the bucktail Thunder Creek fly, and as you can see here, it's it's even the. Uh, now this is actually a bit crooked, isn't it? I think it's a it's a bit a, a bit crooked to to one of the sides. I don't know why that is, but nah, maybe it's just me. It's not that much. Okay, uh, there you go. As always, swing by my web shop. It's called Nordic Anglers uh, to see the full material kit for this fly and for. All the other fly tying material you could ever wish to uh, to to see. We have just an insane amount of, of different uh, different stuff. So if you haven't done so already, swing by there and also uh, please please subscribe to the channel. That would mean a lot to me. Thank you for watching and uh, good luck out on the water.